So. Cool. Well, let's dive on in, see what archery country is all about. Yeah, man. I'm dying to know. Since yeah. the second I got here, the story of how like the bow racks work. Yeah, it's great. So that was. Uh, I wish I could take credit for that. That's not me. <laughs> the previous owner, I, like, had a guy. So we were at the. We were at another location. And the guy owned a cabinet shop, like built custom. I was gonna say it looked like it's yeah. a cabinet. So that's what he did. He uh, like invented that, and we were all like, "Dang, this is legit!" So we ran with it. We've uh, made that the big part of the store. How you get it off? You just pull it. And your bow's out. It's got this little like spring clip thing in there, and then you just yeah, it's actually a uh, pop it back in. So you guys stock like a lot of bows. Yeah. So, so elite. Prime, Hoyt, PSE, and Matthews, and Mission. We got all that stuff. We got quivers, got a wall of quivers here. We kind of tried to compartmentalize it all so when you buy yeah. one, we can kind of go to the four stations and do sight rest quiver stabilizer. But yeah. anyway, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, stabilizers. And then where the magic happens, right? Yeah, this is where the magic happens. So how many stations do you guys have, like bow presses and stuff? So honestly, it's all of that right there. We've got okay. three presses. We've got a press in the tuning room that yeah. works too, but um, this is where we build out most bows. Like we gotcha. Easton and Gold Tip has kind of been our bread and butter. We've started selling a ton of victory stuff. Yeah. Um, the reality is, I've messed with Black Eagle. I've messed with a bunch of the other brands. It's just this is where our customer base always graduates back to. So yeah. we've just kind of been, yeah, dumped all of it into here. But yeah, we try and stock a bunch of it, man. We try and keep a little bit of everything. Uh, broadheads, like, yeah. literally, dude, we were like, we're just going to every one of everything. And then we started shooting some of them. And we were like, dude, these are trash. And whatever. So we whittled it down to the popular stuff, but then yeah. also the stuff that we're like, man, we've shot it. Like we can speak from experience on yeah. any of this stuff and be Good. like, no man, we've had this, or if you're doing this, this is what we would suggest or whatever. Good. Uh, yeah, come around here, I've got, this is kind of where my six packs, weird stuff are. It's where a lot of our vaps are, a bunch of that kind of stuff. Range space, this is where, uh, you know, all that goes the down, man, happens. where all the magic happens. It's uh, a lot of it is kind of people dialing in stuff. Man, we've got, you know, like tournament guys all the way down to people who've never shot a recurve in here. Nice. And if you come in most, most days of the week, this will have one of everything in here. You'll really? have new trad guys, you'll have old trad guys like Sam, you'll have compound guys doing that stuff you'll have a new guy trying you know, all kinds of stuff, so. yeah. but yeah this is it how about all these giant elk up here so them? these are a lot of uh, inherited uh, mounts a lot of these are uh, like like we've mounted them I didn't mount all these but oh, okay. we mounted some of them and what's funny is a lot of these are like the guy takes it home and he's like hey man what do you think about uh, another elk mount in your uh, shop and I'm like ah, we don't really need one and they're like <laughs> Well, my wife's not letting me put this in the house. So really? Oh, you got to put this somewhere. So not literally almost every one of these animals is one. So what is that? Guys, we're just wow. like, <laughs> need a place to keep it. So, That's hilarious. Man. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That's some hammers. That one's a so, hammer. Yeah, it's a stud. Yeah. So my name is Tyler Vanderkolk. I'm one of three owners of Archery Country in Austin, Texas. I didn't hunt growing up. My best friend in high school basically was like all into it. And I went with him a couple times. I started wanting more, of course, like everybody does. So I did the 30-30 open sight thing. And then I graduated to Bose. And I just never looked back from there, man. I was fully invested. That was mid-90s. I was uh, fully invested. And I actually came to this shop. So Archery Country's been around for 40 years. And I came here, told, was told to talk to a certain guy. I talked to him. and. Off to the races, man. The earliest we could find, don't hold me to this, I think we found some receipts from like PSE from like 1981 or something like that. So we know at least it was 81. So the previous owner was a buddy of mine that I had known for a while. Um, 
and I put the taxidermy business in next door with him when he bought this in, I believe it was 2005, either 2005 or 2006. That's how I kind of came on board. I was hunting with those guys. I was in, I was living in here back then, dude. I was all, all in, man. So I went with him, uh, hunted with him a bunch, did it all, got super into it, kind of stayed, became a fixture when I was with the taxidermy shop. And then subsequently when he went to leave, he kind of was like done with Austin, was just ready for next chapter, and he offered it to me in 2016. So I we ended up buying it. I have two partners in this business, um, and we ended up buying it in 2016, at the end of 2016. So we've officially owned it for six years now. And in here, guys come in daily, and when they leave, and they're like, dude, I'll never go anywhere else. It's a three-hour drive, but you're my shop, thanks, or whatever, it, it, that that gets you pumped up for the next day, because you're like, we're doing we're doing God's work here, we're doing the good stuff, so that's cool. This morning, we were all laughing, because we have a bow that's been here forever, and it was signed by Ted Nugent, and Nugent's been in here more, a couple times, and it's one of those deals, we were all like, what do we do with this thing, man? We can't throw it away, because it's got Nugent's signature on it, but what are we gonna do with this thing? So, as far as like nostalgia, though, I, dude, we're so young yeah. in this world. Like, we've all, me and my two partners, we've all been hunting, bow hunting, 20 plus years. And we've got little stuff that we've collected and all that. But as a shop, like, we've tried really hard to have the latest and greatest and have the whatever, stuff like that. So, And what we've noticed is by, like I touched on a minute ago, having the inventory and having stuff here for people to see and people to look at and touch and feel, a lot of times that's what it, it's what they want. They just, they're just literally looking, they want to touch it and see it before they buy it. And sometimes it doesn't pan out, they'll go still buy it on Amazon or something like that. And other times they're, they're like, man, I'm here, um, let's do this, man, I'm ready to ready to jump but the biggest thing for us growth wise has been like working on customer service and then like having stuff in the shop it just translated directly into dollars it translated into more people coming here and people saying hey it's different go go try it again if you had a bad experience in the past i'm telling you they've got the inventory they got good guys that, you know, all that kind of stuff you can come on a Saturday, and this place is the boiling pot of America, man. There's everybody under the sun in here, and they're renting bows, shooting. Everybody gets along. It's it's pretty cool culture we've built here. So, yeah, that's really cool. All right, guys, Iron Buck Challenge, the final shoot off of the day here at Archer Country. We're gonna give away 300 hours to Ultra View to the final person that makes it through the Iron Buck. We're starting out big, going super small to the final person. See who will win. All right, guys, grand finale. This is gonna be for a $300 gift card to Ultra View. And what we're gonna do is we'll do round by round. I think they have four different sizes of the iron buck and we'll just work our way down every round. If you survive, you make it on. If you hit the steel, you're done. And we'll just keep going until there's one person left. How's that sound? Shoot at your own risk. Shoot at your own risk. You all signed a waiver when you walked in. You all signed a waiver, right? We, yes, right. you did, great. And uh, if you don't want to shoot it, you don't have to, but it's gonna be fun. Right there. Made it. Oh, oh shoot you hit my arrow. arrow! I was What's aiming for it. Come on. On the lookout. Oh yeah, we get a good pick. Got him? That's second. Bro. Careful pulling that one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, it's it's getting it. <laughs> small. Yeah, all the time. So this is what we're gonna do now, now that it's so small. We're gonna see how one or two people do at a time, and then we just might do a couple arrows at a time for right now to get everybody a fair chance at going through that real quick. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two at a time, two at a time, let's see. Ooh, smash your arrow this time. <laughs> Does anybody dare trying to put a third one in there before I walk down? Yeah, we can keep going. Keep going, I don't, good. I don't care if people hit ours. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'll fling one in there. 
That was solid. That was solid. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is this? Why did you film the last one? I heard sleeping, over, and coach. Dude, my freaking, my palms are sweating, man. If you miss it, you have to find it. Dinner's on the line right now. Oh, absolutely. How about your dad was done? Everybody? Hey. Oh, I don't All right. Next round. Next round. Might ruin an arrow this time. Pretty small hole down there. The key is to aim at the middle of the hole. Oh! <laughs> that, was a, that was wild. <laughs> okay, so when now I hit it, I'm not embarrassed. It's cool with it. Let's go. That was tough, man. That was tough. It's covering it up a little bit, but now I'm good. That was good. Colby's yeah, out. Thankfully, he's going to shoot it again, though, I guess. We got two in. I made it in. Other guy made it in. Rock and roll. Oh! That was really close. Can I, can I request some theme music? Give me a $100 gift card, though. Just refletch it. That's just a bad Oh, an old one you swapped. Yeah, you, you're not You're not going to shoot these. <laughs> Absolutely not. This That's is going to get interesting. Very small hole. This is like 10 ring. A little, a little oh, smaller than the 10 the ring. That's about an X ring. It might take a second for someone to hit it through this. So just hit it on the other side, okay? <laughs> that's not a very big hole down there. That's gonna be tough. Chris, what's on the line for these guys? What is on the line is three hundred dollars. Oh, dang! It tried to come back. Yeah. Oh. We can do closest to center ever. Oh. I say we do one arrow closest to center, just on a on a single face. How's that sound? Oh! Oh! Right out. But I can't win, so where are we at? There we go, right there. Congrats, man. Right there. Wow. <laughs> Congrats, dude. You shot good all day, man. Give it up, dude. Give it up. I'll stand up. All right, we're deep in the lair here at Archery Country. We had to go like back where they take the mafia. It's where they pay poker with Rogan. So, you can't tell anybody. You're sworn yep. secrecy till the 19th. Yep. We just don't want you blowing your gift card. And having buyer's remorse. I guess everybody in the comments are right. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy. But. Yep. Thank you. What do you shoot right now for? The H2. H2. It has the exact same profile as the hinge two. So, you know, the theory is that you could swap from one to the other mm -hmm. pretty seamlessly. Oh, it feels like it. A lot better than other ones. <laughs> so that's what's coming out. Um, aluminum will be 299, and the stainless steel will be 349. We are leaving archery country here in Austin, Texas. It was a great time. We broke some arrows. What are we doing tonight? We are maybe going hog hunting, so this maybe. episode might not be over. Ooh. 
But tomorrow we are definitely catching a flight to Salt Lake City, Utah and coming in hot and heavy to Wild Arrow on Thursday. Yeah, so stay tuned. We'll catch you Utah in a little bit.